Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create page headers using the Astra Pro theme. And the page headers are going to look like this. This one is actually a page header specifically for the archive pages. It has a fixed background image and a header and a number of links right here. And then it has a search and also this other header that actually has no search and this header is basically for the blog pages and it has a background image that has a heading at the same time it goes parallax at the same time we can set that we don't have a header on a specific page or category and this is how it's going to look like so we basically display the navigation and then we specify a page or post or category where we don't want to display a header for the default header of this website looks like this so everything under this website initially has to be having this header however we decided that we can create separate headers for the archives for the blog pages and for some specific pages we decided not to display a header so let's dive straight in and see how we can do that in Astra. So to start off and create your page headers using the Astra Pro theme, of course you should get Astra Pro and you get Astra Pro by basically going to uh, gotechug slash Astra, which is actually an affiliate link. Once you get the Astra Pro, theme you can choose from a couple of packages here then you get that plugin and come right here in your website dashboard go to plugins and then you'll be in position to install that plugin and once it is installed and activated then you're good to go the next thing we just need to do is now to come to appearance and then we'll just go down here to page headers so once you are here these are already headers that I have created. And for example, for the archives header, this is how it looks like, which I've already shown you. And then for the single headers, which I specified to only be displaying on the single pages, this is how it looks like with a parallax image effect. And if we go and look at the no header, which is specifically displaying on an individual blog post, this is how it looks like. So let's see how we can create these specific headers for our several pages. So to create the header, you basically say add new. That means you're going to add a new header and then you can give that header a name. I prefer that you name it based on what it's basically going to be doing. So with the Astra headers, you have a number of options to choose from. You can choose whether that page header is going to be aligned centered or inline or you don't have a page header specifically for specific pages that you decide to do that for and on the other hand you can display breadcrumbs breadcrumbs will be something like this see down here that's how they will display and that means you have the capability to select how the text color will look like the link color and the hover color this is how that is right here text color, hover color, and the link color. And then also you have the possibility to set a background size, a background color, and an image for that. So on the other hand, you can set a site header, and then you say match page header with a site header, which is just a click away here. And then you can do the settings right from there. On the other hand, you can select which menu is going to display on a specific header that you are creating, which is really powerful because you may have different menus for specifically different set of pages. You have the possibility to add display rules based on which kind of page you have created, category or section of your website. And you can also decide to choose and display a specific header based on a user role, which is right here. So we don't need to do anything right here. I'm just going to take you through the already created headers that I made for these specific pages and just see how I did 
that right straight. So let me start with this archives header. I'll just say edit. Basically, to create this archives header, I'll just drag this here. I made it to be a center align header, and then I made sure that I display the breadcrumbs. And the breadcrumbs, I made sure the text color will be white, which is actually displaying as a heading. And then I made sure the text color for the breadcrumbs themselves is going to be purple, which is this. And then I made sure that the link color is black and the hover color is white. Link color is black and when I hover, it is white. For the background size, I left it at default, which is a custom size of five and five padding top and bottom. You can choose that if you wish to. And then there is something that is really important under the image background where I said overwrite this image with a featured image on individual blog posts or pages. This is what that does for every blog post that will be coming here as the number one. This page header will use its featured image as the background image. In case you have another blog post displaying on your archives page, if this was the one here, then this image would have been used as the background for our header right here. Once you have that set up, then we go to the site header. We can decide whether to match the page header with a site header, but we didn't do that for this specific header. And then right here, we can select the primary menu. So we had to choose which menu actually to display in that specific header, which I told you is really powerful. And then I also decided to show a custom menu item and here i have a variety of items to choose from whether to display nothing there a search a text or an html element or a widget i selected the search and this is what you see here so we have here a custom search that we added to this specific header and that is what we had to select here but like i said you can choose from a number of other elements right here and uh, you're good to go then the search style here you can select how you want it to look like for example like you can see on this page it is a slight search style when someone clicks here on the search icon it will just slide in line and uh, when you look here in the options you have you can have a full search screen you can have a header cover search you can have you can have one that is based on the customizer settings and basically that's it on the other hand you have to choose the display rules where you want the specific header to display on your website so in this case i selected all post archives but there are a number of other options you can select and uh, you can have it affected and only displays on those pages you can also make this header actually to be shown to specific users, whether administrators, you know, whether contributors or only site visitors. In this case, I set it to be uh, on all the website users. Once you have those changes effected and set up, then you just hit the update button and then just reload this. Once that is done, then I'm going to take you on another header that we created, which is actually one that is this which is for the single blog posts so i'll come back right here to headers and then i'll come to the single headers edit so i said that the page header is supposed to be in line so it basically sets the page header to be in line on that specific header where you set it and then you have the possibility again to make all the other changes like changing the text color for example if i change this to blue and i update which is under the breadcrumb display then when i refresh here it will change to from white to the color that i've selected okay so that's what basically it does and then you can change the padding settings and also the background color and in this case we actually don't need a background color on this so i'll just clear this up because of course it's not going to be displayed anywhere and then we can override this image with a featured image on the individual blog post in this case we are picking up the featured image that is on this blog post and we are going to use it as our header background image 
and at the same time we set it to be parallax and this is what i mean when i try to scroll up you realize that the image is parallax so that's one of the beauties and once that is done then you can set the site header of course you can select whether to merge the header with the site header which we didn't do but here you have the option to select the menu that you want to display on that specific header so in this case i selected this menu and then we also have the possibility to select the custom menu item in this case we never selected any remember on the archives header we selected the search in this case we said none and that's why we don't have anything right here in our menu once that is done then we go to the display settings and we select where we want this menu to be displayed and in this case we said it will only display on the singulars and then we also set the user roles which are for all it means this header will be displayed to all the users of this website and we simply hit update for your case it will be published and then whenever you make any changes you have to update so when i reload right here you realize that nothing actually changes because we only changed one option but you get the whole idea of how you can have a menu just like this for only individual blog posts let me just show you another blog post see how that looks like and then if i show you another blog post what i learned from yoga something like this so you have really to be very selective on the color that you're actually going to be using on your breadcrumb text so that it can easily contrast well with your background images however if you don't want the background images you can just come right here on the page header and then you disable this override option then you have to make sure that actually you set the background color and once you set that background color let me say something like this maybe we say white or we can say uh, purple and then you have to make sure that now the text color changes one that will contrast with the background color and then now we don't need the parallax effect because nothing is going to be parallax we no longer have an image when we say update that will update our header for the singulars now when i reload this expect to have a background here no image and this text changing the color so we reload boom you may want it to be something like this but you can set it the way you want so once now we have seen how to actually create a specific header for our singles now we can go straight and check how we made that some of our blog content won't have headers but we can only display a navigation we are going to come back to appearance page headers and then i'll just open the no header header <laughs> and then i'll just drag over this blog post just to bring it right next here to where our header is and now we start off here the option we selected is actually no page header so we don't have a header on this page and then we selected that the site header should match the page header with the site header so we selected that and then we chose the site identity and then we said different logo for this page header that's why you see that we have a very different logo from the logo we were having on the other blog pages like if you look at this option this is the main site header that is running all over the whole website but here we have the possibility to set a separate a separate header for this specific header and then we can choose the width we can uh, choose a custom background overlay color we can choose a primary menu color and this is where this blue comes in from then the link color which is white this is the link color and then the active color you can also set it you can also set it right from here and also you can set a primary menu and that is the menu that you want to display in that specific header we selected this menu and then we have the option to select a custom menu item whether a widget a search icon 
a text stock and HTML. So we selected none in this case, and that's why we don't have any other element after our menu. And after that, we go to the display rules, and this is where the magic happens. So here, what we did was basically to say we want this type of template that we are setting up for our header which is actually a no header to display on specific pages posts and taxonomies and we specified a specific blog post that is going to be affected by this header and this is the one called five top five rules of yoga you can add another one and say my journey to yoga so this should be already published uh, pieces of content on your website they can be blogs they can be uh, pages just like you have specified here now what we are going to test is we are going to make sure that these two blog posts are actually not having the header that other blog posts are having so in this case they should have a header similar to this so one is five rules of yoga and my yoga journey so i'm going to open this my yoga journey right here this blog post has a page header that is like for all the other archives pages but once i hit update here you realize that this blog post is going to change its page header to the page header we have set up for no headers you see boom so it displays right here and the same for this other blog post so that setting we do it here we specifically display a specific header for a specific set of content types and then we can also display a specific header based on some users you have editors you have authors you have contributors and you want to show them specifically different page headers you can set that up from here you can specify uh, that group of people and uh, once you select right from here then you just simply update and then those are the people who will be in position to see such a specific header whenever they access the website so basically that's how you can create page headers using the astra pro theme which i find really interesting because then you're not tied up on having only one specific set of header or header type and you can have a couple of headers that display based on the users on the visitors on content types on your website so i'm going to leave a link in the description where you can actually get the astra pro theme if you purchase astra pro theme through my affiliate link I actually get a commission with no extra cost to you and that way i can keep making such videos on this channel leave me a comment in the comment box below to know what you think in case it's your first time to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when i push it out thank you so much and see you in the next one peace